At three o'clock, the, the kids start getting here. Hey guys, time for class! And that's when the excitement starts. Be here to experience the magic. We twist the tip of them together. This is photography class. You got to see the kids, and you got to see the teachers, and you got to see where we're working. <laughs> She's a little giggle box. There's something really good being done here. You know, advanced too. You get to go up to more. Yay! The job. I think anybody who comes here and sees what we do on a daily basis would be amazed. where kids from any background can come. Most of the kids who come here are in the immediate neighborhood, so they're at-risk youth. Kids come here Monday through Thursday, and they get free academics and arts tutoring from professional artists and teachers here in the Highland community. So we call it the after-school program. It's, it's held during the school year, and it's divided up into four seven-week sessions. So in our two different buildings here, one building is the art house and one building is the academic house. And in the art house, we have classes like photography and drawing and sculpture and painting, quilting and dance. And then on the academic side, we have homework help and language arts and math tutoring and fun other academic classes like science and world explorers and music and microwave cooking. Give it one minute. Do you remember how? They're learning how to be self-sufficient. One zero zero. You got it. And they can handle the microwave. Okay, just dump the whole thing in. We get all kinds of teachers. They're as varied as you can possibly imagine. Okay, now watch. And I'm this always just blown away by them. They're they're really passionate about what they're doing. We're gonna do this, and then we're gonna bend over. Whoa. To get a bunch of five year olds to do Tai Chi. Okay, that's pretty darn good. That right. takes some doing. Because of the cutbacks of art in schools, it's another thing that's made our program vital because these kids otherwise wouldn't be exposed to <laughs> art and culture. But then this year I started doing a history of comics, just letting them see some examples of the art form. And it's just fun reading. Okay. This is one of the things I love about Rinzi. I love the interaction with the kids. Like with, with Christina here, uh, she really can't read words yet, but a lot of these classic little Lulu stories uh, have no words, so she can follow them pretty good. I've sat down with her, and she can tell me exactly what's going on in the stories, and it's the language of comics. You think that's funny? <laughs> the Renzi Center is a special place, and it's like, you, there's when you're here, there's no room for anything else in your mind, but the interaction with them, <laughs> they, they take up all the space, and it's great. If, if just one student really gets into it and enjoys these stories, uh, it's all worth it. When I grow up, I want to be a doctor, not just a random black girl. I want to be an oncologist, and this is way more than just a wish. I have four children of my own. I kind of teach uh, Expression, you know, being able to express yourself when you're upset, mad, happy, you know, just, just talk, don't hold it in, don't bundle it up. You know, I brought that out a lot of them. I had them talking the first day I came here, and they was all wanting to get up and express themselves and tell a little story about themselves. The river of blood, a rain in the mud, the flowers, the cactus, the rings in the basket, the stories that flows through your head, the sweet memories of the person who's dead. My favorite teacher is Mr. Maurice. He inspired me to actually make a book of my own poems. This is a book you have to keep for yourself. Once what? you fill it up, you put it up, keep it at home, and one day you'll be able to publish this. I love to deal with children. 
and I always try to get you know, a little personal with them, like what's going on with you when they have problems. Uh, I get them to the side, talk to them one-on-one, -on -one, and uh, they kind of open up to me, tell me what's going on with them. It's, it's a doorway for them to let, let go anything that may be bothering them inside. The whining, the crying, the tissues that's flying, the mothers, the babies, the men, the ladies, the tears, the doves, the last time in your hood. This is what flows through your head when the person you love is dead. I guess I would have to say that Renzi, to me, is a lighthouse. It sits here in the middle of Old Highland, which is not a particularly favorable neighborhood. But you know, in the time that the Renzi has been here, I just see that everybody seems to look out for us. The neighbors have been friends. Them is some good people. I'm telling you, them is some real good people. Right? Them, you know, if them have like food, extra food and difference, they will give to me. You know, so I always love them. I we always love them. You see, over there, it come like a church of God. So nobody really going to go over there and try to broken it. But them give over there respect. The Renzi Center got started back in 1997 with a donation of one of our houses here to the Sisters of Our Lady of Sorrows. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy we had the opportunity to have the first house on Egan Street, but we trusted in the Lord and in our own work and goodwill. I wanted to fix it and make it a nice place for the kids to go. And from the minute they walked on the property, the kids started coming. They'd never seen nuns before. They were fascinated by it. It was at that point that the sisters realized what they had to do here. So I know the kids are uh, fascinated, so they come around and then uh, a lot of us are Italian. Uh, we have a funny accent, so they, they like to hear us speaking so, and say their names. So. Are you from a country? I'm, yeah, from which country? Do you guess? Can you oh. take a guess? It's a far, far away country. England? Mm, not as far. <laughs> Italy. Italy? Yeah. Now, Italy. You like Italy. I'm so glad that you like Italy. I like it too. The work was almost completed. We start thinking more seriously of how to develop a program and who would take care of the program. The pilot program has been deemed a success. The Renzi Arts and Community Center is open for business. It's really a dream come true. The Sister Sharon at the time met uh, Donna Service and learn how to work with pottery. Or Donna Service uh, is an artist herself. It was amazing to me when we talked to Donna the first time to find ourselves in Sintony immediately. She really became the heart of the program. We believe here that it's through the arts that the children have freedoms and learn how to take chances and build self-confidence, and then they bring that back to their um, academic skills. She died suddenly, and there was a big loss not only to her family, but to all of us. When Donna Service first asked me to do it, I said no, because I didn't think I could teach, and that was in 1999, and I've been here ever since, it's, but I didn't know I could teach. And she saw that in me. She was a visionary. Who? Donna Service. She was a friend of mine. She's not with us anymore. She started this with some of the sisters, some of the nuns. There's a picture of her downstairs. Will you show me? Yeah, she was a wonderful woman. She just saw something in me that I didn't know was there. I really miss her, but this place is a, uh, is a monument to her.
Oh. This is for Northwest Louisiana Food Bank. They have a backpack program. Mm -hmm. So for the kids here, we're able to send them home with nutritious, shelf-stable foods for the weekend. Cereal and juice and fruit and macaroni. And it's just to, you know, ensure that they have something healthy to eat for the weekend, which it's just, we appreciate them. And my daughter has, she's really grown inside. She's gone from D's and F's to B's and A's. The, the program that they offer for these children, I don't take it for granted. I appreciate it so much. That makes me really proud of the work that we do here. Um, that we can see the impact so quickly. We can see the kids get to, um, to improve academically, but really, really enjoy it at the same time. There are wonderful things happening here. We're making a difference a kid at a time. It's magical. It, you know, Hogwarts has nothing on the Renzi Center. 